everybody, and welcome to AJS News. This is the first video of three. Whoa! A lot we of got stuff a lot happened. of news. Everything <laughs> happened this week for some reason. Okay, let's get into it, Dan. We'll jump right in. But first, we want to say a thank you to our sponsors. Check it out. Hey, dude. Oh, hey, man. What's up? Hey, it's February. You uh, figure out what you're going to do for Valentine's Day? You got a big, grand, romantic gesture planned? Hmm, I think I got an idea. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Awful. Pretty good. Was that chocolate milk? Well, yeah, chocolate milk is like the most romantic of the milks. <sighs> okay, that sounds terrible. Use this first and have a good time. W what for? Hey guys, with Valentine's Day coming up, don't let unwanted hair ruin your romantic gesture. Get 20% off right now with free shipping if you go to manscaped.com backslash angry joe show why not try it out today your balls will feel great and you will too hey i hope you guys enjoyed that gross <laughs> i still have the chocolate milk in my fridge joe i i just i don't think anybody's gonna drink it so well, you I have can't. to drink it. i can't drink it. yes you have to drink it. i can't yes mm -hmm. oh, you have to drink you've it. been warned <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh, oh right never yeah. mind never mind <laughs> the milk is too spicy <laughs> Too spicy. Guys, thank you all so much to Manscaped. Uh, go ahead and consider clicking those links down below. Uh, check it out for yourself. See all the little cool products that they have. It smells and, so uh, good. It, it does, does smell really good. So check it out. And uh, thank you so much. Let's jump right into the massive news. Tons and tons of news. We got three episodes. Yes. <clears throat> all right. First one, quick one. Uh, you know, we talked about Warner Brothers wanting to game, uh, patent game uh, mechanics. Yes. yes. They were granted. Son so, of a bitch. Uh, Warner Brothers Bad application. for gaming. I don't like like it. Yeah. So the their application for patent on Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor Nemesis system has been granted. Um, Dumb this sucks. As fuck. Because now, because it pay makes their lawyers a lot of money. Yes. Well, no, nah, I, I just think that that's the way it is in that world, man. You know, you could probably they probably have average lawyers to be honest. The thing is, and, and now that makes it uh, difficult for you know future games to have a system like that, but. Maybe we are overblowing it just a little bit because I would I would say that uh, they might have to copy exact UI elements and stuff like that in order to have a case. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that a case can't be brought against you because you know they like to bully people like that, knowing that you don't have enough money for your lawyers. Uh, so, but yeah, that just sucks, man. Yeah. So it's it was called. Um, I I just think that's ridiculous because you can't copyright like game mechanics like that if, in if, board if the, games. If it's unique enough, then then you can't. Now there was actually some really. Oh yeah, didn't they Magic do uh, the tap tap for the longest time? Yeah, and a bunch of other <laughs> other ones. Shit. Now there's some really good quotes I want to kind of go over. So this one, this one I thought was really appropriate. This is gross. This is really gross, especially for a franchise that it, that built its brilliant nemesis system on top of a whole heap of mechanics replicated from other okay. games. Yeah. So that's according oh, to Thomas shit, was a lone right. creator. Mike that was like the their one good thing and Every, then they probably just took it from other things. Everything else in that game is borrowed Borrowed. We use we use kind words here. Borrowed or stolen from other games, yeah. and then they're like, "Well, we did create one thing, and now only only we get to use it." And so it's this is a bad thing. Well, um, the best thing we could do now is just use uh, you do the this for your middle meter. finger, Joe. Likeness or? meter is better. Likeness trademark pending. Oh, oh right. yeah, OJ <laughs> wants a greater. You know yeah. what? Yeah. We're just gonna trademark game mechanics all day long, Joe. Likeness what do you got? Likeness meter. One? Okay, yeah, we're gonna make mine. a ton of money that way. Yeah. We have to make games that have that in it first, darn it. Now, it's a good system, <laughs> and I do want to see it used again. I mean, they have stuff like Batman fun, coming yeah. out, Harry Potter, but making this so other people can't use so that's it. So a, that's a good point. If you're going to copyright the system, do you? does that mean you intend to use it in the future? Or just hold it so no one else can use it. It was your one good idea for one game that was a bunch of wow. other mixed stuff. So we'll have to see if it's they're prepping to use it in the future and, you know, they're just moderate dicks it. or if they're huge dicks and they're just like huge oh. dicks. Yeah. I'm, I'm anticipating. Joe, do you yeah. flick, flick off the camera? Is that how you flick off? Yes. I, I do this. I, I don't know I why. I haven't done this in this. 20 do years. this. You got to raise the, the knuckles. That gives it the e Why? emphasis. I don't know. It's just more aggressive. Yeah. What is that? So you have the one <laughs> finger way up. No, Joe, now that now you're just 
read between the lines kind of thing here, you know? I'm wondering. That's the two different ways to flick people off. So there to WV and to the stupid copyright of game yeah. mechanics. And it's dumb. <laughs> yes. Oh, it's it's like that, that, and that. That's mm-hmm. three different fuck yous in different languages, and break I just it. broke the you broke the you broke table, the table. This piece of shit table. You just need to pop the the thing back in the thing. Hey, hey. fixed. It. Um, fixed. S- speaking of crappy products, that yeah. where we bought that table, Amazon has a new Walmart. CEO, right? And <laughs> yes. so Amazon's brand new CEO uh, has been talked about what some of his plans are for Amazon. We're not going to talk about any of those things, except for the game um, sector. And we've been talking about how Amazon's spending five hundred million dollars. A year <laughs> for nothing, this, which is fucking nothing, nothing so far. Um, and so it's a beta that got quickly pulled. Yes, and uh, and a closed alpha, which I participated in for a uh, new world. Mm-hmm. New world. So he starts. He makes some excuses. And he's like, you know, there was a game before Crucible. Was there? Which yeah. One, which one was it? It is even more obscure. I don't fucking remember it. You don't even remember the name of it? I don't even remember it. There was a game from Amazon before it that everybody has forgotten, including me. It, so, so I'm just giving you more context to that 500 million. So there's at least three game developments there. There's mm. New World, there's Crucible, and the game before Crucible. I'll look it up. Go ahead. Third, okay. Third time's the charm? Yeah, and so he's saying, look, the success is going to take a little bit of time. You know, he's alluding to how long Amazon took to, you know, take off and all these other things. And then he just decided to address the bro culture. Now, this is another part of the Amazon bro. that we talked about yesterday. We, we Again, dude is way, dude. way better. Dude yes. culture. Because everyone's a dude. Of course. Um, dude. And there was a couple people that did get yes. the Good Burger reference. They're like, I get Classic. it. It was just like, all right, three people, we you're like cool. you. <laughs> yeah, you're cool. Uh, and they're trying to address that bro culture where women aren't getting promoted. They're not yeah. treated particularly well. Even men d- uh, often don't enjoy that shitty-ass bro culture. It's like, oh, good game, bro. It's like, we're in an office. Don't touch my ass. Like, what's wrong <laughs> yeah. with you, OJ? <laughs> that was one time. Yeah. That was great cooking. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and so they're I'll tra- even let my friends touch my ass. Yeah. Did okay. you touch my ass? Did you touch my ass? Just check it. Yeah. Uh, and so then he says, making great games is hard. I mean, you wouldn't know yet, but you, you let us know when you get there. And we're not going to get everything right. I mean, it's true. It is it hard. Is. It is hard. hard. We know. We, yeah, there's we a know. lot of real we bad know. ones that, you know. We know. So that, that is Amazon. Did you find I the name found, Yeah, I found it. Uh, it was called Breakaway. Amazon Game Studios. How fitting. Orange can <laughs> It's canceled. And get this, there's two more <laughs> that were canceled. These, Breakaway actually had some marketing and shit and, yeah. and things, but I'm not sure if these did. Nova, canceled. Intensity, canceled. And then we have New World, We're going to run around with single word game names if, if they, Amazon keeps canceling them. And we have them. Crucible. Okay. Uh-huh. Do, oh, oh, we forgot one. The Grand Tour game, which was a game that almost made my top ten worst list of I, the year that it came out, I think two thousand eight. It got released two thousand nineteen. Yeah, it did. It was bad. It was bad. We might we, have to we play need that to work on in stream their gaming section. Yeah, it's like yeah. five hundred million just for ideas. We there's have a, ideas. There's yeah. a Dragon's Lair <laughs> Twitch extension by Amazon Game Studio, but that doesn't count. That's no. like something that they got they warmed up on, and the rest of it is App Store garbage. So. Uh, so here we go. So Grand Tour, Crucible, New World, Nova, Intensity, and Breakaway. Six games, and of those six games, they're all canceled and or crap or not released. Or and that's not just five hundred million total for those games. It's five hundred million dollars a year <laughs> yeah. for those games every well, year that those only, games. Yeah, it's only been like two years now. Okay, okay so it's only a billion dollars that two they've three, that yeah. they've spent <laughs> on on like no that. games. So we're doing something, something wrong like here. All right. Well, uh, we said billion. Uh, Borderlands Studio Gearbox acquired by Embracer. For one point three billion dollars, um, I didn't know who the hell Embracer was. Me Turns neither. out it's uh, the THQ group. Oh it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, So they get they rebranded and then changed and oh, rebranded. Oh man, I kind of oh. like THQ Nordic. Yeah, and I so like they'd be like Nordic. Yeah, and so I, their their Embracer is a Sweden based company and the parent company to THQ Nordic. So like, like apparently that brand still exists, but Embracer is the big super group. Paid a ton of money to Randy, which means. So many more magic tricks. So many Aww, more capes and man. top hats and rabbits no. and Are you and sure Randy's not taking a step back? Maybe uh, he made he's, some more money off he this? He is thing. not. Go away. He is not because... Go away. He's got a whole interview where he says Embracer is like rocket booster for Gearbox's ambitions. And you know, <laughs> money was the big thing that prevented them from doing all their dreams. And, and then he, start, he even brings up uh, I wonder why they ran magic. out of it. 
I don't know. <laughs> Poor management. That's he says, that. "What I what, Poor leadership. According to Randy, what's wrong with me is I think I need to create. My wife explains it as me being a hyper empathetic. That's why I'm an entertainer. Why I'm a magician. Why I make video games. And he goes on to say a bunch of like really weird. I, I want to <laughs> like Randy. And at one point I did like Randy until he got fucking weird. And you hear all these weird ass stories about Randy. And he won't keep his fucking mouth shut. And he says the dumbest shit. Porn and he, on a drive. And he's like, no, I was trying to discover her magic trick. So it like, makes it very hard to like him. And uh, and then butchering my fucking uh, number one favorite film of all time, Aliens, and butchering Aliens, Colonial Marines, you're dead to me. Hmm. Bam. But there Borderlands 3, you didn't like the twins? I did like... Uh, no, no, you're dead to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like... You, you can, yeah, you can have <laughs> Handsome Jack or the twins. It's just like, <laughs> what? I did like that game, though, so... Uh, you, this gives them a bunch more money. They're go- we know that they're making a Borderlands movie. They okay. have they're, they're huge ambitions, so now yeah. they have the money to do it. Um, yeah. uh, he's sticking around. He will be around. He's the still he still retains complete control. It's just now that they have the ability to publish, they don't have to seek any of this stuff out. Uh, he says they're not going to have to compromise like they potentially would have with other situations. So, mm. good on you, Gearbox people. Hope you use that money for good stuff. Well, they spent a lot of money uh, getting Kevin Hart. Oh yeah, yeah. Kevin Kevin Hart officially gonna I'm be. Pretty sure he's pricey. <laughs> yeah. Who's it gonna be? Roland or a new character or something? Uh, I don't was remember it? the name of the character he's gonna be. Uh, it was announced what the name of the yeah, character oh, okay. was. Um, okay, let's get into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There was a Reddit post um, that was talking about how Ubisoft has handled the game since launch. Um, originally on launch, we reviewed it. It was pretty good. There wasn't a lot of predatory microtransactions. They existed, but there wasn't a lot of predatory. There was none of the time savers, none of that stuff at that time. And then... And then we specifically said, (laughs) as of now, uh, but then they started adding them. Now the time savers are there. Now uh, there are nine sets of armor that you can buy, and there's only nine sets of armor that exist in the game to not buy. So, and if you want to scale <laughs> That's up, not cool. and then the, some of this armor has incredible stats, and you can only get it. So again, it's kind of like pay to win. It, it just looks like Assassin's Creed Valhalla has shied away from you know the Odyssey and the Origins thing, where there's a lot of armor, and there was some some stuff you could buy, but now it's half. Yeah. And you, it's there's not a lot of other options for people. There's less DLC coming up. It's like microtrans- microtransactions over DLC, and it's a huge issue. Yes. And people who are playing, I don't know why. There's Stop other it. stuff, but like the people who are playing are are pissed off. And yeah, uh, they well, yeah. should be pissed off. They have a right to be pissed off. I'm tired of companies taking advantage after the fact. Yeah. yeah oh, you reviewed the game? Bullshit. Like, I don't get what's going on in their head. They're like, hey, you guys did some good. Oh no! What do we do? Self destruct. Self destruct. Yeah. Add more microtransactions. Well, you money. know what you know what it is. Money. Just like, well, I get the money. If they make a better I get the game, money. I got the they money. Want, money. It would be better. Mm. Instead of uh, it's yeah, uh, it's bullshit. And and here's the thing. I still want to put together a list of you know what's it, what what we consider acceptable in 2021, right? Because. Uh, it's a digital marketplace now. You know, there's certain realities and there's certain uh, revenue streams that some of these companies are trying to do. But what makes it and what softens the blow and what makes it reasonable is number one, reasonable prices, yeah. right? Number two, if you, it's an RPG it's or a looter or something like that, you have to give people so many cool armor sets and and like like a fucking hundred right and then if you want to sell it then you have like 10 you don't do here is uh six armor sets and by the way here's 26 that you can buy yeah that is that's unacceptable. cutting into the profits yeah <laughs> right so look that's... sometimes you want to play a game and you want to wear a pink bunny outfit and you're like i'll pay five dollars to be an assassin running through murdering people as a pink bunny that's it. funny right because it's like the appropriate price but like this is this so is we the... want to establish a baseline what do you guys think is it five times more you have to have five times more the free items that you mm. loot naturally in the game versus the microtransactions is it tw- is it two times is it three times well, yeah, is it here's... five times what not to do? The Valorant price is right here? Yeah. Don't. No. Don't do this. Well, the other one to not to do is Middle Earth <laughs> no! Shadow of War. No! Uh, which was a, another game that did something like this, and the fans were so upset about it, then... I got, I got it. I finally got it. Hold on. I got it! No! No! Wait. Don't, don't spray. Oh, shit! Oh, no. Did you get the camera? I'd bite it! 
I didn't. I thought it was gonna be a miss, Joe. Not a fucking. You have to twist the. Well, you have to twist, twist the thing to. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a no. Nope. That's none. And that's then the miss. there's the miss. <laughs> But it might catch that camera too. And I got this, but I didn't realize it would be so small. The little uh, newspaper, but it's a dog toy, obviously. <laughs> no! Bad! Mm -hmm. Bad! <laughs> Ubisoft. Okay. So fans in, in Reddit were They talks. have been disciplined. Mm -hmm. They've been Not disciplined. Enough. But so when Middle or Shadow of War uh, had a bunch of microtransactions and the fans were so pissed and they were so on them all the time and the community was coming out, they removed the microtransactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so people in the thread were saying, like, have we become so... Has microtransactions become so common in all these games where our yeah. tolerance for Complacent. something that we would have screamed out from the rooftops mm -hmm. of all of this stuff... And it, it seems that way. It's we're so used to all of these microtransactions that now something these, this is fine, right? Yeah. Well, it is not fine. I wanted to, to call attention to it. This is not the kind of thing that, that Ubisoft should be doing, where they're adding time right. savers or after the fact, so yeah. that reviewers can't even factor that yeah. into the review score. Cut it out. Look, you can add things to monetize the the game. I have no, I have personally no issue with that. Yeah. If there are the same number of armor sets as paid armor sets, that's a huge issue. There needs to be, you need to be putting so much more DLC out there, yep. more quests, more everything. I'm gonna say three times. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you think. I'm gonna say times three. Yeah. A lot. Times three to make it feel good. Um, times all right. ten to make it right. Yeah, that's that's big RPG stuff right there. All right, Ori developer. Um, hey. Thomas Mahler. Hey, y'all uh, like Ori, don't you? We do, and I like him even more now because he was shit posting this week, and it was <laughs> oh. so funny. Um, wow. Kind of shit boy. Uh, he was criticizing developers for Oops. overhyping games. He called with lies and deception. He called Damn. them snake or peddlers. In a long post, Damn. okay. So I'm gonna give you some of the quotes. Why are gamers so eager to trust and even forgive the snake oil salesman? Yep. He accused them of lies and deception, selling features that don't exist, and by overhyping games, making fool of players. Uh, he also criticized journalists for happily playing along each and every single time, not calling people out on, you know, mm. people who are like, oh, no, Cyberpunk was fine. It's like, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> um, he added that he's not bitter or shitting on other devs, but that he is on shitting on liars and people that are okay with openly deceiving others. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me play devil's advocate here, okay? okay? Motherfucker, was your latest Ori game finished when you released it? Yeah. I thought you guys told me there was a bunch of errors sound and bugs. bugs. There was sound, sound bugs. bugs. There was a sound bug, And for then sure. Joe, like, broke a boss battle, but that wasn't their fault. That was Joe's that fault. That was Joe's <laughs> fault. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the sound issues. It was, there was a sound bug for sure, but it wasn't missing features. Or anything. Right. Yeah. It wasn't to the point where it was like a cyberpunk, yeah. cyber bug, or a Fallout 76. Mm. It was a, a, no a sound guy. bug that got patched. It got patched almost immediately. Soon. We just okay. played it right away. Yeah. So he said it all started with Molyneux, you know, talking about. He was the the master of instead of telling you what my product is let me just go wild with what I think it could be and get you all excited and that was fine until you actually put your money down and the game was nothing like what Peter was hyping it up to be he then went after Sean Murray saying that Hello <laughs> Games seemed to have learned straight from Peter Molyneux handbook and that he apparently <laughs> loved the spotlight he said that at launch No Man's Sky was nothing like what Murray hyped it up to be so he goes after Fable and then he goes after No Man's Sky and then um he said he's he keep talking about No Man's Sky. They released a bunch of updates, so let's forget about the initial lies of deception and say let's actually shower him with awards again. It's like why y you you lied and we gave you a bunch of shit for lying and making a bunch of stuff up, and then eventually you brought it up to almost what you promised it to be. Now everyone says that he's like this giant savior. It's like this is wrong, and he's arguing that it's it's absolutely wrong. Well, thank you. And I'm then he goes on to out. criticize CD Projekt Red. Um, saying pretty much the same thing, only a Man. fraction of what the developers it's, hyped it yeah, up to be. It was all, cojones. Yeah, he was going after <laughs> everybody. Uh, he continued, every video released by CD Projekt Red was carefully crafted to create a picture in players' minds that was just insanely compelling. They stopped well, yeah, just short the of out. Point of it. Mm -hmm. The point is to try to make it compelling. It's, it, did they lie? And they did. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, once his shit post became kind of big and public, He's kind of apologized oh, a little yeah. bit. Oh. He, 
attacks him because people are attacking him now, right? Because there's yeah. the people who are like, no, cyberpunk is the greatest thing that's ever happened to the world, period. And because it, it was completely flawless and because they experienced no flaws, uh, everyone who criticizes the game is I don't wrong. think there's that many people are out there around this time. You, you know I think you're overblowing the weirdos. You're overblowing the you weirdos. You know there's got to be an issue when PlayStation took it off. It's still not Obviously, for sale on PlayStation. It's still not there. You can't just well, Joe, you turn know, a blind eye. That's true, but you also know that PlayStation and Sony have their own kind of mean streak, and they're like, no, fuck you. Yeah, you screwed yeah. our profits, fuck You're you. You're screwing with our yeah. money now. You're gone. So, Not because, oh, we're worried about the quality of the game for the players. Black Tiger! Well, yeah, it's all about the Life quality, of still. Black Tiger, Joe. It, it isn't worked. it crazy, it Joe, worked. that in this world, <laughs> it worked. Cyberpunk was fooled, but Life of Black Tiger was Why perfectly you keep reminding acceptable. Me of that piece of I game. guarantee you, Joe, one of the Sony developers has a, had a dead hook or something, and the guy's what? keeping Release it a secret. Release my game. Fine, fine, okay, whatever you well, want. Yeah, yeah, no Nobody talks shit about Black Tiger, says mm. Sony. Sony's uh, still doing promotions for Black Tiger. That would be funny oh if they man. were. All right, so he's actually come out to apologize. He said that his post was not uh, the right... It had didn't have the right tone or platform. Uh, he was an overly aggressive tone that wasn't really suited for someone in his position. Um, and then he's just like, look, I shouldn't have called these people out, but... He's speaking I, the truth, though. I you guys appreciate see this you. on the green screen? Shit, this might be pointless because it's green screen and it usually takes off. Let us know if you see, if you are just on. All right, but now, but now he's uh, he's apologized. He's apologized, and it, it's because he was I'm being attacked sorry. a little bit. But at the same time, I really appreciate this guy yeah, because this is honest, and he wasn't yeah. he wasn't personally attacking some of these people for like oh, I don't like you for yeah. He's you just can like still have the opinion. It's like this is fucked up. You lied to all you of lied us, to all and all of those people. Absolutely well, lied to all of Twitter, us. It was on Twitter, right? Uh, his first, he, his apology was on Twitter. His original post was not. Okay, because I was going to say, Twitter's mm, pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So it's a long post. Not not really. He's just like, I'm, I'm just sorry, especially to those I mentioned by name. Yeah. Uh, he probably shouldn't have just mentioned them by name. But again, I, I agree it's with this tough. guy. It's tough. It is. You know, I like to be brutally honest, too. So sometimes, you know, I guess you just... I, Yep. All right. Cool. Anything else you guys want to talk about in this first of three? Uh, what, Joe, did you have that thing? What did you say? Uh, what's being delayed? Oh, uh, Prince of Persia. Prince of Prince Persia, of Persia is, being is being delayed. Uh, there was Once another again. one being delayed. Uh, just, just more. God damn it. I'm tired of freaking delays. Well, Prince of Persia is isn't it? delayed indefinitely, too. They, they're, oh. they're, like, they're like, we have no idea when this thing is coming out. Now, it definitely doesn't mean it's never coming out. I just, you know, yeah. we have no Sometime. idea when it's going to be, but. It's going to be a little while. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. The KFC dating sim is crossing over. Did you get that? KFC dating sim crosses over with the Resident Evil big tall vampire lady. So you can you can date a vampire what? lady what now? in that. <laughs> I love you, Colonel Sanders, yes. too. You remember that? Everyone obsessed I remember with that. the big tall vampire lady. With the cosplay, God, I love it. I love it. <laughs> Even looks. Uh, so I love you, Colonel Sanders. Is hip with the cool kids because uh, they're gonna have part two with the the lady. Oh God, please step on me. It says, but actually be in the dating sim. <sighs> KFC, please stop. I don't want to know. Send us a console. Yeah, yes, I mean no, a console. no. They're we'll they're just it teasing because it's KFC. They get to say whatever they want. There's no way they're getting they're the marketing. They're marketing. Points. I'll send they're marketing that to you. Just okay. look at KFC Gaming. Now. Yeah. All right. Well, then that's that's what yep. we got for this one. There are two more episodes. There is so much <laughs> happened this week. So make sure you check those out. Ton. Make sure you go to manscapecom slash Show. Mm -hmm. Check out some clones, some trimmers, some amazing boxers. Feel good. Make yourself look good mm -hmm. okay all right we'll see you guys on the next angry joe show bye, bye guys, guys.